Hi, good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. Happy Monday, everybody. Please, please, please take a second to share this into your feed. Tag your friends and family. Got time, we haven't seen a cat yet. Just got it started. And went out and gave Winter her AM med, giving her time with that. Before I go out, it's a cleaning day in rehab, so this won't be a super long live, but I have a Shiloh. Good morning, Marcy. Hi, Amanda. Hey, Liza. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Diane. Hi, Kim. Anita, good morning. Good morning, Kathy. This is Shiloh Bobcat here at Big Cat Rescue. Oh, where are you going now? Hopefully somewhere we can still see him. <laughs> where are you going, buddies? You gonna go lay in your spot? No, different spot. Where are you going? I want everyone to see how handsome you are. Oh, that'll do it. That'll show everybody. That'll show everybody how handsome we are. Yeah, what a cute boy. What a handsome boy. Well, if this doesn't make you smile on a Monday morning, at a loss. Good morning, Eleanor. Hey, Jenny. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Dawn. Hey, Carrie Ann. Hey, Austin. Good morning, Kristen. <laughs> he's like, there's the cuteness, and goodbye. Let's see where he's going next. you go that is his favorite spot to try to pin a keeper because you can see that you have a little pathway to walk by he likes to hang out over there hi Cheryl hi Mary good morning everybody <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for your trap but I am gonna come a little bit closer no <laughs> that's not nice that not nice. That was a very, um, a very thought out boof there. I think he's been destroying these plants over here. Obviously, you've got a broken one there and a whole limb off of this other palm. I know your tricks, but I fell right into one. Good morning, Karen. Thank you again to everybody who's sharing and tagging each other. We have a very cute Shiloh this morning. Hi, Chad. Good morning. Welcome, Belinda. Good morning, everybody. Kelly, they are not fasting. They only fast for one day. We never ever fast for more than a day. And today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, they will be getting a reduced diet, basically just enough to get the medication in them. So everybody's slightly happier than they were yesterday, but they probably definitely realized that it was a bit of a smaller breakfast. Right, buddy. But at least you got something. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Let me see this other 
limb he tore down off of that palm. I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm not doing it. Isn't he so cute? shy guy. Should I move on? Should I move along? Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Well, we just got started, but we did just get some really cute footage of Shiloh. So if you're just now joining in, you might want to rewatch. I found Val yesterday. <laughs> I've actually found her every day, but yesterday I was like, well, if she's been fasted, <laughs> pretty sure I'm gonna find her. She was hanging out in the same den, just not in the same location. So we'll go see if she will tolerate our presence this morning. We'll see if Gilligan's out. Oh, Gilligan is out. He's up and moving. So we'll pop over there next. Hi, Gilly! Ooh. Ooh. I have not heard Gilligan who since before he went on his last trip to vacation. Before his health went all haywire. Oh, there's a missus! Got to see the misses. Hey, Miss Miss. The Mrs. Claus. Hi, baby girl. Some good slow blinks there. Some very good slow blinks. Are you where you were yesterday, honeys? Yep. <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park. Pretty sure you guys can hear her. I don't know if I'll find an angle where you can see her. Alright, there is a little face. Right there, in the center of the screen. Hi, Miss Val. That's an eyeball right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, Miss Val. I shouldn't laugh, that's very ferocious. Very ferocious. Okay. All right, we've been told this is Monday mood like I've never seen. Good job, lady. Thank you for tolerating that I've yet again found your spot. I gotta go now. <laughs> Mrs. is down running around. Now let's go over and try to see Gilligan before he decides to go up in his AC den. Just out. There's no way I 
missed him already. See you, Frankie. other side still. Is there a Gilligan home somewhere? Doorway. Sometimes he's up in the doorway of the AC den. <laughs> I can't believe how fast he got out of here. He's like, mm -mm, I see that camera coming. Oh boy, he means he's in there. I don't want to startle him. I can actually remove one of those panels, but I don't want to scare him. So we won't do that. <laughs> but dang it, I guess next time I'm going to know that I need to immediately show him if I see him out because he disappeared quick. Where's Frankie then? Can we at least get a Frankie sighting? Franksters! section is done. They're like, nope, we got icky panic here for breakfast. We're not talking to you. <laughs> Usually he's like not totally hidden. Frankie! Okay, well walk all the way around just in case he's on the other side. And we'll go get back on the golf cart and go try to find a Jinx. Possibly a Manny, but I probably already missed him as well. Here's a cutie pie. Here's a cutie pie. Hi, buddy. Hi, Frankie. Come here, sweetheart. No, no second breakfast. He's like the portion, though. I'm pretty sure there should be a second breakfast. All right, if that's where you want to hang out as your feeding walkout, then that's where I show you. Hi, cutie. I was so excited last week, Mr. Frankie got himself a $500 donor. Yeah, that means you're gonna have a pretty sign on your cage. You get a pretty photo sign. That's so awesome. If any of you guys are interested in sponsoring any of the cats here at Big Cat Rescue, you can go to bigcatrescue.biz go to shop categories and you'll find the sponsorship kits for each species and it tells you right there on those pages what your perks are for hi thanks what your perks are for each level it starts at $25 goes up to $5,000 most of the cats get the $25 sponsors but not a lot of them get higher than that so yeah there's some special perks the higher you go, huh? I'm so glad you got one. I'm so glad. Yeah, what a cute boy you are. <laughs> yeah, this 
This is just <laughs> so silly. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. He's like, this tail is worth five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, cutie pie. Where'd Gilly go? I swear there's no way he got up in that den that fast. He cleared out a lot of his ferns because there was just like no actual floor space for a cat to walk because they just grow in so fast. But he's got amazing camouflage, but definitely would have found him by now. He tends to look like his rocks. And then all of a sudden he moves. <laughs> always fun. All right, well, let's go get back on the cart. Just like peek one more time. In case I missed him. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. Oh, here I go on foot, my cart's this way, okay. <laughs> he joined in late, we've seen Shiloh, we saw Mrs. Claus, we heard slash saw Val, we searched for Gilligan, we saw Frankie. I wanted to start up front with the Tiger Girls, but they were both completely MIA, like no visual tucked far into their dens, so. aren't back together yet, but there's a Nabisco. Hi, Biscuit. What you doing? Staring at my feet. Of course. Staring at the feet. Staring at the tires. <laughs> the ability for cats to ignore is just amazing. I wish I could do that more in life. <laughs> You're not really even there, it's fine. Moses and Bailey. Maybe we'll get a hutch on Funcation and then we'll go try to see Jinx and Manny. That's probably what we'll do for today. There's one. That's not a very good angle. Where's the other one? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? I swear Bailey knows. She's like expert level of how to not get your picture taken. 
because she always lays in the most horrible locations. There's a boy. Nope, this is not a good angle for how the cages are made. But this is Moses and Bailey. There's a Moses and Bailey using their camouflage. Pretty much always together. Hi, Momo. He's like, I hear voices. I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Always cuddling. Always cuddling. There is no good way for me to show you these guys. They're not facing the right direction and they're on an interior wall. <laughs> but that's still pretty cute. It's still pretty cute cuddle time. Hi, Moses! Hi, sweet boy. Two of our oldest bobcats, Moses at 21 and Bailey at 19 or 20 now. Let's see if there's a hutch. Is there a hutch home? Somewhere in a food coma. Not back here. Okie dokie. Well, we'll walk the long way around. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of a Miss Chaos. If not, we'll go see Jinx and Manny. You guys can always look for Hutch 24-7 on two different funcation cameras at bigcatcams.com. Yeah, since everybody fasted yesterday and this morning they got a diet with their dewormer, they're probably all like, <laughs> I don't like this. It tasted icky and now I'm going to go to bed. Is there a chaos home? Yep. Hi chaos. Two glowing eyes and that's a chaos in there. Hi, Chaos. This is also not a good view. She's doing well though. She's really taking it easy. She's spending a lot of time just sleeping and recovering from her broken toe. So she has been doing well. No, 
questions. Jinx is one of the lucky cats that was not fasted. Den. Let me check this back corner. If not, we're going to walk the long way because I'm already back here. There he is. Hi, buddy. How's my boy? How's your boy? How's your boy doing? Hi. Hi. Missed you. We missed you. Didn't get to see you yesterday. Looks pretty hot, huh? You pretty hot today. The hot one. excited because I, I found ya. I snuck up on that boy. I snuck up on that boy. I snuck up on that boy. Where's that flop? I was wondering. I was wondering when that was coming. You can see all of his beautiful spots. He is a black leopard, but in the sunlight, he's more of a chocolatey reddish brown with black spots. Black spots. What a sweet boy. My guess is the reason he doesn't use an air-conditioned den is because he's not a cat that genetically is native to cold regions. I mean, it gets colder just the same way it does here, but he's used to like, his species would be used to like hot temperatures, humidity, jungly environments, which is pretty much like Florida for the most part, right? Now, Natalia was an Amor leopard, and she was definitely native to regions that would get much, much colder with snow. And she, I don't even know if she used her AC den very often. Right, because a cat like Jinx you could find in India or Africa. It does get colder there, but not frigid. Not frigid for the most part. Depends on where you're at. Same thing with obviously snow leopards. One more flop. Can we get one more flop? No. <laughs> what if 
I move this way? What if I move this way? Lisa, I agree. He is perfect. He is a perfect boy. This tree stump fell. My guess is because someone pushed it over. No, you should. Jinx. Now we know why he was so worn out when I got here. He's been attacking this tree trunk. Jinxie, <laughs> so bad. I'm gonna go get his ball. <laughs> you get that ball. Did you get that ball? Uh-oh, you took it into the curve of the cage. Did you get that ball? Did you get it? Did you push it out of your way? Did you push it out of your way? You better get that ball again. You better get that ball. You gonna let that ball get away from you? Sorry, cameras are just not perfect, especially on curved walls. Especially curved walls. Look at his little white foot. His little white foot on the black cat. Jinxie, what are you doing? Can you reach it? <laughs> I'd say you tackled it. I'd say you tackled that for sure. Goodness. I'd say you tackled that for sure, buddy. Have yourself draped over your log. You're so goofy. You're so goofy. Love you so much. You really dove into home base there, didn't ya? I agree. He is very dramatic. <laughs> He's very dramatic. That's what we love about Jinx. Toy went around the log, buddy. 
eating the log. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, buddy. So darn cute. You're so darn cute. Did you get it? You got it. You got that old ball right under your paw. Well, I can see from here that Manny's not outside of his den, so I actually think I'm going to end here with Jinx on a positive note, otherwise you're just going to go see a dark cave. <laughs> I will try to get Manny sometime this week while he's out and about. Probably won't have a live tomorrow, I'll be volunteering. Like I said yesterday, I have seen watermelons and food prep, so that may potentially be happening sometime this week. So keep an eye out for that. The speaker next, I would assume. So handsome. Well, thank you guys so much for any and all donations. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> Cats like this really, really deserve every penny you guys give them. 100% of your donations goes to the care of the cats here at Big Cat Rescue. Cats like Jinx, who is 23 years old. 22, 23? I think he's 23. Maybe he's 22. Somebody's gonna have to remind me. My mind goes to mush after January when like 25 cats have birthdays. <laughs> so, thank you guys so, so much. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Monday, sharing, helping out in the comments, and loving these cats from a distance. We couldn't do any of this without you guys. All right, buddy, is it nap time? It's nap time. I'm going to go so you feel like you can relax instead of showing off. I think he's 23 also. Yeah, I know he's the oldest on property. Kali's next at 22. And then we've got a couple ties for 21. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a great week, a great start to your week. And I will see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.